Hi guys. Well, it was supposed to be a bright, sunny, 90 degree spring day. Yeah. Uh, here in the great state of Texas, uh, in Garfield, Texas, here on. Uh, I have. I truly do not know, guys, anymore whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I. <laughs> I, I have completely lost track. I think it might be March 25th, uh, 2020, although it really makes no difference here in the isolation chamber of Garfield, Texas, where you can hear the gas sucking lawnmowers just going on about business. Just another day on the planet, and oh yes, uh, I am Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles, and this is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. So, guys, I, I sat down in this chair three times yesterday to uh, do a Collapse Chronicles video, my first one in over a week, not about the coronavirus. And after that uh, marathon slog last week in the coronavirus chronicles and I, I, I would start the I would start the video I tried to do one on uh, permafrost collapse about uh, all of all of the stuff going you know the the skyrocketing collapse of the permafrost which is really going to go into high gear, <clears throat> you know, with the methane bomb and all the usual. And of course, one of the things it was talking about was how we can expect more and more viruses, novel viruses, uh, to be unleashed on the planet. Uh, same with the melting glaciers. And eventually, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, a, a quote, real virus with, a, uh, with an infection rate of 100% and a death rate of, uh, well, you know, 80% or 100% does get released. Uh, so I, I started to talk about that, just ran out of steam, then I so I tried another one. I went all the way to the other end of the world and started to read this article about uh, this big collapsing glacier in East Antarctica, not West Antarctica, in the most solid place left on the planet with polar ice, East Antarctica, where now the evidence is pouring in that the glaciers in East Antarctica are, are starting to collapse. And that's the final chapter, but of course, we're going to be long gone, uh, you know, at this rate before it means anything. But So anyway, I started both these rants that I simply did not have it in me. and. So I just gave up, and that's why there was no rant yesterday. And I am just, uh, you know, like so many other channels down here in the Doomosphere, I need to decide whether to turn this channel 100% uh, coronavirus all the time. That is the only news story on the planet the only news story on the planet is coronavirus and uh, so you know does the does the dog wag the tail or does the tail wag the dog uh, you know do do I just get swept up uh, as a journalist as an environmental journalist uh, do I just get swept up uh, uh, along with, with everybody else uh, since it is the only subject 
that anybody wants to talk about. It is the central focus of this planet right now, what I call planet panic. Uh, and so I need to decide. So uh, I, I'm just going to finish out this, this video uh, with just a refrain from my comment, my, my, my very first video I did on Collapse Chronicles about a month ago, uh, I, I was talking about the reaction that we were just beginning to see. The, the, the very beginning, I took a look and, and said, this is going to uh, quickly, to, to, you know, but become, well, then, uh, a month ago, what I was calling it uh, was a snapshot into the future of what collapse is going to look like. Uh, that you can expect. I, I mean, just reading the handwriting on the wall, which of course has now completely exploded. And, and, and again, I, I, I have to sheepishly admit uh, that I did not see this coming, even though a month ago I was calling it a snapshot. Uh, I, I still was not prepared for the snapshot, which I guess is now turned into a uh, IMAX uh, movie screen uh, of the uh, of the the Mad Max social collapse version of uh, of this coronavirus thing, which of course I am saying is the panic, the absolute unwarranted panic gripping this uh, this planet and including a whole lot of the vast majority of people down here in the Dumasphere apparently have joined the panic ridden sheeple uh, that all they can talk about even here in the Dumasphere now is, is what the virus health effects on people. That's the, the, you know, more and more the Dumasphere is sounding like, uh, like every other uh, media uh, organization on, on this planet. Uh, you know, I did not think it was possible for, be, for me to be any more depressed than I already was, uh, you know, than by the panic uh, of the coronavirus uh, threat uh, completely ruining my life. My, my, my life has been uh, completely derailed by this panic. You know, I'm trying to sell my house in March of 2020, uh, which I, of course I have zero chance to to do because the housing market, if you're not aware of this, uh, is getting ready to go directly over a cliff. Uh, we are heading uh, into quite possibly, it will certainly be the single biggest uh, economic collapse uh, of my lifetime, and I'm 60 years old. Uh, it, w it, it will leave 2008 in the dust and probably will leave uh, the 1930s depression in the dust. Uh, will it lead, will the economic collapse being unleashed by the coronavirus, will it be the trigger for the collapse of global industrial civilization. One week ago, I would have laughed off the notion, but uh, what I have seen uh, going on in this planet, including my best friends down here in the Dumasphere, uh, I honestly don't know anymore. Come, there is no way to make predictions 
uh, how bad this can get. It, 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 you know, as I've been saying on other places in social media that we don't talk about on this channel, uh, there, there is nowhere to turn. There is no way out. It makes zero difference which side of this pointless debate you're on, the, the direct threat of the virus versus the economic uh, fallout from the virus. Uh, which side of that debate you're on, you know which side I am on. Uh, I am on the economic collapse, panic hysteria side. I am a coronavirus denier, I guess there is what we're being labeled. Uh, if, if you take that side of the fence, if you take the politically suicidal, uh, you know, position, if you choose not to choose fear, if you say, I refuse to get wrapped up in, in, in panic, and, uh, and, 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 and let my entire life be ruled by the panic that I might get coronavirus, uh, if, if you make that statement, uh, you will be, you will be, uh, even if we weren't being uh, socially isolated, you would be if you made that statement. If you get up here and, and make a stance that you are not going uh, to let your life be ruled by fear and panic and hand over all of your power to the uh, to the to whoever uh, you, you know uh, you will be slayed but it makes no difference guys but anyway I, the, the, the the takeaway message that I had come away with after watching this unfold, watch my own life be, for all intents and purposes, utterly destroyed uh, by this. My own teeny weeny little personal life, and you better believe there's millions, if not billions of people who would love to trade lives with me right now. Uh, it, it, I, I'm, I'm still going back to the very first video I ever made um, a month ago but just amplifying it that from what I do particularly on Collapse Chronicles is I chronicle the collapse the collapse of the global industrial economy the global and you know global industrial civilization and most importantly the planet and the, the the clearest message that, that I have gotten in all of this as my job, as a chronicler of the collapse, there's a lot of different Sam Mitchells in here. I am talking about what I do here on this channel. Uh, the obvious takeaway message is that I was spot on in that very first uh, uh, in, in, in that very first uh, video I did on this and uh, I, I am just absolutely the, the, the only surprise is, is that how surprised I am about how spot on I was uh, when, I, when I pointed out that this is a direct look into the future of Mad Max. Uh, when, when, a, when a threat uh, as minor as the coronavirus and, and the, I guess the worst case scenario uh, that we're hearing, the worst case scenario that we're hearing is 60 million deaths on a planet of 8 billion people a statistically insignificant little blip that will be completely erased uh, over eight months, assuming the worst case, worst case scenario of actual human deaths. If that's the only thing you look at, uh, you know, the coronavirus 
is a bad hair day compared to the pandemic and I'm using that word both literally and metaphorically at the same time uh, that's coming down the pike and, and if, if what we have seen going on on this planet is any indication and I think it is a damn good crystal clear indication uh, of what Mad Max is going to look like when an entire plant planet, an entire planet is thrown into a state of absolute full-blown panic uh, over something, uh, over a statistically insignificant little blip and it's not even that uh, compared to some virus being released right now in the collapsing permafrost and melting glaciers. Uh, you, you know, guys, uh, Mad Max is A, going to be uglier than I ever thought, and more importantly, it's going, it, it's going to get here uh, quicker than, than I ever thought. If you think you are having trouble finding toilet paper, coffee creamer, uh, limeade for your margaritas, a buyer for your house, uh, then, uh, then you ain't seen nothing yet when a real pandemic uh, gets here uh, and it's coming it's not a matter of if it's only a matter of when when a real pandemic gets here uh, you can kiss your ass goodbye the rubber has met the road with this one I, 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 I am still utterly flummoxed at, at, at how something that anybody down here in the Doomosphere, well, the few of us remaining down here in the Doomosphere with a brain uh, who is not uh, bought in uh, to the herd mentality of the panic-ridden sheep. Uh, guys, It's lonely. It's a lonely place in the ice, the self-isolation chamber of Garfield, Texas, and I don't even have the doomosphere uh, anymore to go try to find any sanity. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this coronavirus. Uh, rant and uh, I really am going to uh, come back. I'm going to try again. I'm, I'm going to come back here and, uh, and, and try to do a, a rant uh, that has uh, nothing to do with the coronavirus. See how far I make it. Mainly what I'm trying to do is see how many views I get if I do not talk about the coronavirus in my rant. I want to uh, compare the views, you see what I'm saying, between this rant about the coronavirus and my next rant uh, that, has, that is not about the coronavirus. I'm going to predict I get one third the views on uh, the rant not about the coronavirus. I hope my prediction is wrong, but it won't be. Bye guys. <laughs>